Hello, and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2021. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we are going to be covering Ezekiel 37 through 39 and 2 Peter 2. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation so that the reading of your Word will be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. And they all said, Amen. The Valley of Dry Bones, Ezekiel 37. The hand of the Lord was on me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and set me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, Sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you, and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you, and make flesh come upon you, and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you, and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked, and tendons and flesh appeared on them, and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, Son of man, and say this to it. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Come, breath, from the four winds, and breathe into these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as, commanded, as he had commanded me, and breath entered them. They came to life, and stood up on their feet a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the people of Israel. S they say, Our bones are dried up, and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, My people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from them. I will put my spirit in you, and you will live, and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I am the Lord, and that I have spoken, and I have done it, declares the Lord. One nation under one king. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, take a stick of wood and write on it, belonging to Judah and the Israelites associated with him. Then take another stick of wood and write on it, belonging to Joseph, that is, to Ephraim, and all the Israelites associated with him. Join them together into one stick so that they will become one in your hand. When you people, when your people ask you, won't you tell us what you mean by this? Say to them, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I am going to take the stick of Joseph, which is in Ephraim's hand, and of the Israelite tribes associated with him, and join it to Judah's stick. I will make them into a single stick of wood, and they will become one in my hand. Hold before their eyes the sticks you have written on, and then say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. I will take the Israelites out of the nations where they have gone. I will gather them from all around and bring them back into their own land. I will make them one nation in the land on the mountains of Israel. 
there will be one king over all of them, and they will never again be two nations or be divided into two kingdoms. They will no longer defile themselves with their idols and vile images or with any of their offensive offenses, for I will save them from their sinful backsliding. I will cleanse them. They will be my people, and I will be their God. My servant David will be king over them, and they will ha all have one shepherd. They will follow my laws and be careful to keep my decrees. I will live in the land I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where your ancestors lived. They and their children and their children's children will live there forever, and David my servant will be their prince forever. I will make a covenant of peace with them. It will be an everlasting covenant. I will establish them and increase their numbers, and I will put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling place will be with them. I will be their God, and they will be my people. Then the nations will know that I, the Lord, make Israel holy, when my sanctuary is among them forever. The Lord, the Lord's great victory over the nations. Ezekiel 38 The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, set your face against Gog, on of the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal. Prophesy against him and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. I am against you, Gog, chief prince of Meshech and Tubal. I will turn you around and put hooks in your jaws and bring you out with your whole army, your horses, your horsemen, fully armed, and a great horrid with large and small shields, all of them brandishing their swords. Persia, Cush, and Put will be with them, all with shields and helmets. Also Gomer, with all its troops, and Beth to Garmath. From the far north will all, it, with all its troops, the many nations with you. Get ready. Be prepared, you and all the hordes gathered about you, and take command of them. After many days you will be called to arms. In future years you will invade a land that has recovered from war, whose people were gathered from many nations to the mount mountains of Israel, which had long been desolate. They had been brought out from the nations, and now all of them live in safety. You and all your troops and the many nations with you will go up advancing like a storm. You will be like a cloud covering the land. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. On that day, the thoughts will come into your mind, and you will devise an evil scheme. You will say, I will invade a land of unwalled villagers, and I will attack a peaceful and unsuspecting people. All of them live without walls and without gates and bars. I will plunder and loot and turn my hand against them. And the rattled, the restless ruins, and the people gathered from the nations, rich in livestock and goods, living at the center of the land, and Sheba, and Eden, and the merchants of Tarisha, and her, all her villages, will say to you, Have you come to plunder? Have you gathered your hordes to loot and carry off silver and gold, to take away livestock and goods, and to seize much plunder? Therefore, son of man, prophesy and say to God, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. In that day, when my people Israel are living in safety, will you not take notice of it? You will come from your, pal uh, your place in the far north, and your, you and many nations with you, all of them riding on horses, a great horde, a mighty army, 
You will advance against my people Israel like a cloud that covers the land in days to come. Gog, I will bring you against my land so that ye, the nations may know me when I am proved holy through you before their eyes. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. You are the one I spoke of in former days by my servants, the prophets of Israel. At that time, they prophesied for years that I would bring you against them. This is what will happen in that day when Gog attacks the land of Israel. My hot anger will be aroused, declares the Sovereign Lord. In my zeal and fiery wrath, I declare that at that time there shall be a great earthquake in the land of Israel. The fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the beasts of the field, every creature that moves along the ground, and all the people of the face of the earth will tremble at my presence. The mountains will be overturned, the cliffs will crumble, and every wall will fall to the ground. I will summon a sword against Gog all on all my mountains, declares the Sovereign Lord. Every man's sword will be against his brother. I will execute judgment on him with plague and bloodshed. I will pour down torrents of rain, hailstones, and bring burning sulfur on him and on his troops and on the many nations with him. And so I will show my greatness and my holiness, and I will make myself known in the sight of many nations. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel 39 Son of man, prophesy against God and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. I am against you, Gog, chief prince of Meshech and Tubal. I will turn you around and drag you along. I will bring you from the far north and send you against the mountains of Israel. Then I will strike you, and I will strike your bow from your left hand and make your arrows drop from your right hand. On the mountains of Israel you will fall, you and all your troops, and the nations with you. I will give your, you as food to all kinds of carrion birds and to the wild animals. You will fall in the open field, for I have spoken, declares the Sovereign Lord. I will send fire on Magog and on those who live in safety in the coastlands and they will know that I am the Lord I will make known my holy name among my people Israel I will no longer let my holy name be profaned and the nations will know that I the Lord am the Holy One in Israel it is coming it will surely take place declares the Sovereign Lord this is the day I have spoken of then those who live in the towns of Israel will go out and use the weapons for fuel and burn them up. The small and the large shields, the bows and arrows, the war clubs and spears, for seven years they will use them for fuel. They will not need to gather wood for the fields or cut it from the forests because they will use the weapons for fuel and they will plunder those who plundered them and loot those who looted them declares the sovereign lord on that day i will give gog a burial place in israel in the valley of those who travel east of the sea i will block the way of travelers because gog and all his hordes will be buried there so it will be called the valley of haman gog for seven months, the Israelites will be burying them in order to cleanse the land. All the people of the land will bury them, and the day I display my glory will be a memorable day for them, declares the Sovereign Lord. People will be continually employed in cleansing the land. 
They will spread out across the land, and along with others, they will bury and any bodies that are lying on the ground. After the seven months, they will carry out a more de detailed, detailed search. As they go through the land, anyone who sees a human bone will leave a marker beside it until the grave diggers bury it in the valley of Haman Gog, near a town called Hamanah. And so they will cleanse the land. Son of man, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Call out to every kind of bird and all the wild animals, assemble and come together from all around the set to the sacrifice I am preparing for you, the great sacrifice on the mountains of Israel. There you will eat flesh and drink blood. You will eat the flesh of mighty men and drink the blood of the princes of the earth as they, if they were rams and lambs, goats and bulls, all of them fattened animals from Bashan. At the sacrifice I am preparing for you, you will eat fat until you are glutton uh, until you are glutted and drink blood till you are drunk at my table you will eat your fill of horses and riders mighty men and soldiers of every kind declares the sovereign lord i will display my glory among the nations and all the nations will see the punishment I inflict on the hand I lay on them. From that day forward, the people of Israel will be known that I am the Lord their God. And the nations will know that the people of Israel went into exile for their sin because they were unfaithful to me. So I hid my face from them and handed them over to their enemies, and they all failed are fell by the sword. I dealt with them according to their uncleanliness and their offenses, and I hid my face from them. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I will now restore the fortunes of Jacob, and will have compassion on all the people of Israel. I will be zealous for my holy name. They will forget their shame, and all the unfaithfulness they showed towards me when they lived in safety and their land with no one to make them afraid. When I have brought them back from the nations and have gathered them from the countries of their enemies, I will be proved holy through them in the sight of many nations. Then they will know that I am the Lord their God, for though I sent them into exile among the nations, I will gather them to their own land, not leaving any behind. I will no longer hide my face from them, for I will pour out my spirit on the people of Israel, declares the Sovereign Lord. That was Ezekiel 37 through 39. Now we shall be turning to Second Peter 2. False teachers and their destruction. Second Peter 2 But there were also false prophets among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you. And they will secretly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the sovereign Lord who brought them, bringing swift destruction on themselves. Many will follow their depraved conduct and will bring the way of truth into dis disrepute. In their greed, these teachers will exploit you with fabricated stories. Their condemnation has long been hanging over them, and their destruction has not been sleeping. For if God did not spare angels with when they sinned, but sent them to hell, putting them in chains of darkness to be held for judgment, and if 
he did not spare the ancient world when he brought the flood on its ungodly people, but protected Noah, a preacher of righteousness, and seven others, if he condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah by burning them to ashes and made them an example of what is going to happen to the ungodly. And if he rescued Lot, a righteous man who was distressed by the depraved conduct of the lewdness and the lawless, for that righteous man living among them day after day was tormented in his righteousness soul righteous soul by the lawless deeds he saw and heard if this is so then the lord knows how to rescue the godly from trials and to hold the out unrighteous for punishment on the day of judgment this is especially true of those who follow the corrupt desires of the flesh and despise authority. But bold and arrogant, and they are not afraid to heap abuse on celestial beings. Yet even angels, although they are stronger and more powerful, do not heap abuse on such beings when bringing a judgment on them from the Lord. But these people blaspheme in matters they do not understand. They are like unreasoned animals, creatures of in instinct, born only to ca be caught and destroyed. And like animals, they too will perish. They will be paid back with harm for the harm they have done. Their idea of pleasure is to carouse in broad daylight. They are blots and blemishes, revealing in their pleasures while they feast with you. With eyes full of adultery, they never stop sinning. They seduce the unstable. They are experts in greed and a cursed brood. They have left the straight way and wandered off to follow the way of Balaam, son of Bezir, who loved the wages of wickedness, but he was rebuked for his wrongdoings by a donkey, an animal without speech, who spoke with a human voice and restrained the prophet's madness. These people are springs without water and mists driven by a storm. Blackest darkness is reserved for them, for their mouth empty boastful words, and by appealing to the lustful desires of the flesh. They entice people who are just escaping from those who live in error. They promise them freedom while they themselves are slaves of depravity. For people are slaves to whatever has mastered them. If they have escaped the corruption of the word by knowing our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and are again entangled in it and are overcome, they are worse off at the end than they were at the beginning. It would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than to have known it and then turn their backs on the sacred commands that was passed on them. Of them the proverbs are true. A dog returns to its vomit and a sow that was washed returns to her waddling in the mud. And that was Second Peter 2, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Ezekiel 40 through 41 and Second Peter 3.
Father, I just thank you for your word. Because without your word, I could not be your messenger of the word. So I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to The Bible with Briscoe 2021. For today, my name is Shenandoah Briscoe. I have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow, because God willing, we'll be here. And we hope that you are too.